Welcome back to another edition of Survivor Thrive. That's right, every day, bringing you tips and tricks. It's a Monday, so you need more tips and tricks than any other day, as they say. <laughs> Isn't it all about what you create and make of it? Um, but the concept is to give you some life lessons that I learn on a daily basis, and I'm constantly trying to analyze and, and go through life and, and uh, um, just discover mindsets, mindsets of of what I've developed, what I've actually adopted over the years, good and bad. And uh, essentially, I discovered one that is not so good in the aspects of um, trying to uh, expand in my world, but a very common one that we all actually run into. If you're competitive at all, you grew up in a high school, you grew up in maybe doing some college, um, and in that, there was basically benchmarks all over the place. If you played sports, there was a win or a loss. There was a clear finish line on the majority of what you did. There was a clear finish line to every semester, to every quarter, to everything that you actually did in life, there was this projected finish. Like, you have to get here. You have to get here. And the funny thing is that after some of those benchmarks are made, that really doesn't play out in life. <laughs> because life is like this, it's like reaching a finish line that constantly is moving. And oftentimes I talk with people and I've been there myself, quite often still trying to battle some of this. And the aspects of that, I'm always trying to get to a point of finishing. Like there's a finish line in my head that once I get there, then I will be done. Once I get there, then I can do this. Once I get there, and you know, what the challenge is, is that once we set these benchmarks, we are automatically either excited like, hey, we made it, here's we are, and we celebrate, or we're disappointed. And unfortunately, most of the time, we're constantly disappointed. And of course, we're going to put this across the spectrum of your life <clears throat> and talk about specifics in your body, in your connections with God, in your relationships, all of these things across the board, even your bank account you need to look at, but also to understand that these finish lines create limitations in your own mind. And this is where I'm coming from where it's bad. It creates limitations. And with these limitations, oftentimes we quit far before we can get to that. David Goggins, if you haven't seen um, any of his stuff, um, his book um, is absolutely incredible if you get a chance to read it. Um, he's a Navy SEAL and a tough life and all these types of things. But uh, bottom line, when he would talks about um, our body, our mind quits about 40% of the way, meaning that once you're ready to be done, you got another 60% that your body can actually do. So quite often we're putting these finish lines and don't we do this with health? So let's look at it. Your body, for instance, you've created a finish line. Now that could be a weight, that could be a physique, that could be something that you're trying to achieve. But listen to how this works. Once you get there, you gave yourself permission to stop. You literally give yourself permission to quit because you've arrived. You see, but in your body, it wasn't about arriving. And this is the misconception of health, that health continues. It just continues. It goes, it goes, it goes. It never stops until it does. And when it does, nothing else really matters anyways. Because you're either dead or you're in a disease state that you will do anything. It will consume all your resources, consume all your time to be able to get out of that state. But see, there's no finish line on that. Because if you will look at the people that have the body weight that they wanted to obtain and have the physique that they were sh uh, shooting for or whatever combination of challenge that they had, once they get there, 
it's done. The sun sets on it and they're going on to the next. So you start to understand the concept in body because it's really easy to see it when we can physically measure some stuff. And most people understand what, they understand body, they understand weight loss. I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar industry and most people focus on that. If we're gonna set a goal, it's gonna be in our body, okay? Or worse yet, you never hit, hit those benchmarks and what do you do? You discourage, walk away with shame and guilt and all these types of concepts because I can't get there. I've tried so hard, tried so hard, I can't get there. So one of two ways that you're going. I mean, there is a tip and a trick in this here in just a little bit. But what about in your connections with God? We do the same thing, don't we? We set out a benchmark. We may have pastors that set out a benchmark of perfect attendance, the perfect amount of tithing, the perfect amount of work that you can do to get into God's favor, to get in more connection, to get in more blessing, to get in more. See, and it was never set out to be that. This was not about do more. It was not about more work. You see, there is no level that is better than one other. It is just the connection. Spiritually, it's just the connection to show up and constantly connect. Not to be like, I am connected. Done. I got there. It's over. Finally achieved it. Let's go celebrate and never have to connect again. No, because again, the sun sets on that and you're going to wake up tomorrow and there's going to be a need to connect, to create some space, to hear God, to be able to find purpose, stay on purpose. It never stops. What about with your relationships? Like, oh my gosh, I just had the most incredible date night, right? Incredible date night. We're good. We're good for the month. Try that. Men, if you're listening, try that. Women, if you're listening, try that. Be like, hey, we just, we hit a benchmark. But don't we do this quite often and like, hey, it's that one trip, that one family trip that we are going to take that's going to make it all. This is the trip of all trips. And then when you arrive, it's like you draw a line and you're done. It doesn't exist. Think about that. What if you stop ever taking a trip again with your family? You stopped ever connecting. You stopped ever actually having those intimate relationships and, and conversations and all these things. And because you've have arrived, you see these finish lines that we create in our heads create limitations of where we can go. Let's say that again. The finish lines that you put and draw in your head create limitations of your expansion, where you can go. Quite often, if I set in my mind 25 push-ups, about 23, I'm fatiguing. Now, I can do way more than that. I can do 50 or even 60 push-ups in one fail swoop. This is done. But if I set it just right now, I'm doing 25, my brain sets this fatigue out to be able to like, no, nah, you're done at 25. You said 25 push-ups, so we're done. And it starts to what? Set the pace. There's a tip and a trick in this. Listen to this. What about in your bank account or your business? Oftentimes we set benchmarks, don't we? Well, once I hit that six-figure mark, and I know a lot of people that have hit that six-figure mark that are on to the seven-figure. See, it wasn't about the six-figure. Because again, the sun sets on the six-figure to move on to the next benchmark. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the tip and trick of the day. Where in your world right now is your mind drawing finish lines? that is setting you up for either success and celebration or for shame and guilt by not getting there. I would suggest and have you consider either one is unhealthy. Because the success, the party that happens, the um, celebration that ensues is for nothing but what? Ego. It's for ego and accolades. But again, when the sun sets, those egos and accolades are done and it's what? It's now a new level. It's a now new benchmark. But to, if you could see from a standpoint that it was all, it was all about the process and understanding that if you go by heart, heart knows little, no limits. There is no capacity that the heart knows. There is no finish line that the heart knows. 
And so this is the tip and trick for you today is identifying where you're drawing those finish lines and start to live in the heart a little bit more. Do you love your spouse? Do you love your kids only a little bit? Hey, we got to that love point. Mm, it was 50 of loves. That's it. We're done. No, the heart knows no capacity. So where in your world today do you need to live out of your heart a little bit more or a lot more and kill the finish line in your brain? That's all I got for you. Next time, we'll be talking about more tips and tricks moving you from just surviving to thriving.